So in this video, we're going to look at how we can enable some parental controls for an Apple iPhone. If we imagine that it's Christmas Day and uh, I'm about to hand over this phone to my daughter or son, handing over a phone without any parental controls is kind of like handing over a loaded weapon. So let's have a look at how we can enable the super simple Apple parental controls. Um, you can see I've got my iPhone here um, and there's some apps and things installed. I'm going to go now and tap settings and we're going to tap screen time and at this point screen time isn't enabled so we need to turn it on and you could see with screen time we're going to get insights about the screen time and set limits for what you want to manage so we can get weekly reports download uh, sorry downtime and app limits and we can go through things like content and privacy restrictions, uh, screen time, passcodes, etc. The passcode, of course, is the most important thing, which prevents your kids from unlocking the device. So let's tap continue. Um, because I'm logged into this phone with my iCloud account, I'm going to tap, this is my iPhone. If we were logged into the phone with uh, my child's iCloud account, we would tap the second option. Um, but for, for now, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to tap, this is my iPhone. We're going to turn on screen time now and we can go through and have a look at some of the settings and things that we can restrict. Really the most important one for me is content and privacy restrictions. I do not, and you, you'll note you can't edit any of these settings without entering the passcode, so that's great. I want to change iTunes and App Store purchases. I don't want any purchases on this device, so I'm going to installing apps is not allowed. Deleting apps, I don't care, have at it. And purchase apps is not allowed. Require the password is always required for any purchases, so they will, my iCloud password will be requested when they go to log in. And then the same with things like I could restrict the applications that are allowed to run on this device. I can also go to content restrictions. So let's have a look here, web content specifically allowed websites only or you can have unrestricted access which as we said before it's like handing over a loaded gun or you could just limit things like adult websites um, let's do that for now happy with that configuration I'm going to tick back which now saves that and there's a whole bunch of other things that we can change we can block adding friends uh, multiplayer games searching for explicit language um, even even books so we can only allow uh, iBooks, for example, that are clean and not explicit or contain explicit language. So those are some of the settings we've configured. The most important thing we do here is, of course, enable screen time and a passcode. So now when we close out of screen time, out of settings, if I pretend now I've handed it over to my daughter, she wants to go in and play with it. She tries to change something. She thinks, oh, I'd like to install an app. She's prompted for a screen time passcode. Of course, I haven't shared that with her, so she won't be able to un or edit those changes. We could check that the changes have applied. We can go into Google Chrome, for example. And if we try to go to some nefarious website, www.xxx.com, we should see that the content restriction is enabled on the phone, fingers crossed. And the site is restricted, thank you to screen time restrictions. So that's awesome, that is working on the device. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can enable in here. For example, if you wanted to do downtime, which I think is another important one, so we can set limits of when the device can and can't be used. I'm going to block at downtime and I'm gonna set a schedule. So this means that basically when it's time for bed, uh, we can stop the device is, is, is locked. So I'm going to say from 9 p.m. until 8 a.m. the next morning, the device cannot be used between those times. You could customize days, for example. You could do Monday different times on uh, Saturday and Sunday, for example. But basically, once the, the down time hits or kicks in, the device is blocked. So happy with that. Screen time settings and those settings should now be saved. Um, there is one final thing that I think is worth talking about. Let's go back to screen time. We're going to have a look at the app limits. Let's say we had a game or something on here that my child was obsessed with. You could add a limit of how long they or how long they can actually run that app. 
So let's have a look under games. I could say, for example, just the dance controller. Um, I want to set how much time they are allowed to use that application for. I'm going to add that specifically. Um, and of course, uh, when we go to open that now, after a minute's worth of usage, uh, the app will automatically not only be blocked, but it will it will close. So I will not they will not be able to do anything more with it. Give it those settings. Let's go back here, and shortly you will see that this stops working. Let me pause the video while we wait for that timer to expire. Finally, there you can see the time limit has kicked in, and you can see it says you've reached your limit on Just Dance Controller. Click OK, and it closes. If we go back, you can click on or tap on the Ask for More time. And then you can ask for one more minute, or you can enter the screen time passcode. Let's put in the passcode. And we can approve for another 15 minutes, approve for an hour, approve all day. So from that perspective, you've got a bit of flexibility as to what happens should the app expire. Happy with those settings. We know that the content restrictions are working. We know that the app limits are working. Um, and that's basically it. So everybody, thank you for watching this super quick video. If the video was of use to you, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, alternatively, if you'd like to know more about parental controls in the age of cloud, then guess what? We have a course just for you. Uh, the links will be provided uh, below the video if you'd like to sign up and have a look at that uh, as well. Um, the course itself is indeed called Parental Controls in the Age of Cloud, or P-C-I-T-A-O-C, just for another IT acronym. Um, and it provides parental peace of mind for things like mobile devices, locking down iPhones and iPads and managing screen time, um, Android devices, how to use Google Cloud's family link uh, around the home as well, controlling internet traffic at home and how we consider and how we do that, blocking unwanted or age inappropriate sites and protecting all your devices from scams and spams and phishing and malware and all those things. Uh, finally, we even look at other devices, whether it's uh, Nintendo Switches or Playstations, uh, whether it's Samsung tablets or laptops or even generic browsing of the internet. And finally, we have a look at some third-party apps that are available for these platforms, uh, and we compare them, test them, and figure out which ones actually offer what they say they offer. So thanks very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the YouTube video, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.